Hello. Today we'll take a look at the distribution of the statical moment. How can we determine the distribution manually? At the university, the section is simplified by the central axis so that it is clearer for the students. I also draw the axes and write the mathematical definition of SY. It is equal to the integral of ZT plus the start value psi 0. Now, let's draw the ZT distribution. In the lower flange, it is constant with the value of 450 square centimeters, or 45 centimeters z distance times 10 centimeters flange thickness. We apply the same values in the web below and it automatically goes to zero and continues to run to minus 450 square centimeters. This value remains constant in the upper flange. Right next to it, we draw the SY distribution. It is important to define the small coordinates S in such a way that they start from the free edge. In this way, the initial value psi 0 becomes 0. Furthermore, we can calculate the integrals. They are nothing more than the surface of the ZT distribution. For SY of S1 equal to 40 cm to the right, the area is 450 by 40 square centimeters. This results in the value of the statical moment of 18,000 cubic centimeters, and the same is true for S2. The distributions are determined similarly in the upper flange. The difference above is the negative sign of the ordinate z. This way, we have minus 18,000 cubic centimeters at the top. The practicality of this method is that, for sy of s3 equals 0, we can simply add together the statical moments flowing to it, or we can determine the entire surface in the flange. The special feature of this task is the determination of the governing statical moment in the web center. SY of S3 equals 45 as, therefore, equal to psi 0 with 36,000 plus the adjacent triangular surface. In total, we get 46,125 cubic centimeters. This value differs from our program because we have taken an extended web into account. This calculation is on the safe side anyway. Therefore, we can just leave it as it is at the university. To be more precise, we should take the ZT distribution of the web to the top of the bottom flange. This way, the ZT area considered for this is only 400 square centimeters by 40 centimeters. Finally, we come back to the desired result of 44,000 cubic centimeters. The statical moment occurs as a high point in the distribution of the antiderivative SY and corresponds to the position Z equals 0 on the left. Upwards, SY will fall back to 36,000 cubic centimeters. Next time, we'll look at this distribution in shape thin.